Essentially, the law of attraction is the belief that your thoughts and emotions will determine the opportunities and blessings presented to you by the universe. Those who believe in the law of attraction regard this as a universal law which is relevant to anyone and everyone. The underlying concept is that having positive thoughts will always have a positive outcome, whilst having negative thoughts will inevitably lead to negative consequences. According to the law of attraction, human existence is intertwined with the consciousness of the universe itself. It's a fascinating topic to discuss regardless of whether you believe in it or not, and the question that inevitably comes to mind is, is the law of attraction actually real? We're passionate about creating informative and insightful content, so please subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss a thing. Scientifically, a law is defined as a particular phenomenon or event that is either self-evident or provable via observable evidence. The laws of physics such as gravity or electromagnetism, for example, became laws because they were supported by verifiable scientific studies that have been effectively and reliably replicated. According to this definition, the law of attraction is little more than a theory or hypothesis, as its effectiveness is to do more with basic human nature rather than the will of the universe. Evidently, the law of attraction doesn't have a scientific basis in the literal sense of being a law, but that doesn't mean that it should be discarded in its entirety. Critics of this concept argue that the reason the law of attraction is so problematic is because certain proponents can take their dependence on this system too far. The issue arises when it is applied to specific situations and circumstances instead of generalized thoughts and behaviors. For example, simply thinking about an expensive house, your dream career, or the love of your life, and then leaving it to the law of attraction to manifest it is rather useless. Whilst mindset is undoubtedly important, nothing will happen unless you take decisive action and change your behaviors so that you are actively working towards your ambitions. In this case, it would be considerably more constructive to regard the law of attraction as something that encourages people to be more positive individuals who are receptive to new experiences and opportunities. There certainly is scope for it to have a positive influence when it's applied to human psychology, behavior, and interactions. Basically, if your words and actions towards those around you reflect compassion, generosity, and commitment, then there's a high chance that others will reciprocate this by being kind to you, or helping, or being inspired by you in some way. When you look at it this way, the law of attraction is essentially recycling common psychological concepts and ideas. It's been long known in psychology that visualizing and understanding your dreams and ambitions is the first step towards actually achieving them. Imagine that you're a student who desperately wants to be admitted to a particular university. This is something that is incredibly important to you and it's obviously going to be something that you're thinking about throughout the day. These thoughts of attending your dream university encourage you to take positive steps that will increase the probability of this becoming a reality, such as studying harder, making lifestyle changes, and creating connections. When you do receive your admission, it's not because of the law of attraction per se, but rather because you knew what you wanted and this inspired you to change your thoughts, behaviors, and actions to achieve that. Rather than the universe manifesting your thoughts, you are the one who manifests them yourself. On its own, the law of attraction provides a limited interpretation of human consciousness because it states that thought will lead to consequences, with the universe doing everything in between. The reality, however, is that thought leads to behaviors, which lead to actions that result in desirable or undesirable consequences. Rather than a definitive principle, the law of attraction should be seen as just one aspect of a comprehensive and holistic approach to life. The universe isn't going to manifest anything for you. But by adopting a positive mindset, you will empower yourself with the initiative and passion to manifest your dreams on your own. Initial success will inspire even more positivity and action, and when those around you see you flourishing, they will react and respond to your confidence and determination as well. At the end of the day, we don't necessarily need complicated or philosophical laws and theories on human nature, because it really is just as simple as that. We hope you found the video inspiring and relevant, and if you did, then please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this.